hello. Finally, uh, two months, two months later, um, we're, finally, <laughs> we're finally getting onto this. It's been, uh, as my wife said this morning, thank God January is over. Uh, so, um, where are we? I'm, I'm looking over. the most recent list of our goals, but I'm not sure I have those. Does somebody, does someone have those? I put a link to the last notes I'm referring to in um, the chat. It was emailed after our meeting or before our, one of our meetings. Okay. Um, I don't have, I couldn't find any other notes. Uh, well, uh, Bill yeah. did a wonderful summation. Maybe I should read this. That's what I think that uh, is. Okay. Let me just, I think it'd be good just to read this out and get this. Tuesday night's RSUD board response to Justine's progress report was quite positive. I think the board is really interested in exploring and defining its vision for going forward. I also believe there continues to be an interest in pursuing the goals discussed at our board retreat back in September. Justine said the goals committee would be reporting back in January. Ha ha ha. And Jamie said he would recommend it for January RSUD agenda. Three things to think about timeliness, process time, and packaging. I think the committee should continue to prioritize developing a draft vision statement. However, these things take time to develop, discuss, work through. Vision is a mindset and a focused view of what we're all about. Timeliness isn't crucial here. Getting it right and having a broad and deep understanding and buy-in by each board member is critical. It would be quite an accomplishment if we could do this by the end of the school year. One way to keep it moving is to develop drafts and prioritize time and future agendas. Meanwhile, we have other possible goals that are more time sensitive. A goal to strengthen school parent connections and communications that Justine mentioned is worth considering now. Your idea of using daily curriculum notebooks is an excellent suggestion for staff consideration. The key is to see if this is a board priority and tasking Jamie Lindy about how to do this and what board support is needed. Um, as you know, the WRVSU board recently voted to establish SYU academic achievement goals for 2022 to 2025. Does it make sense for the RSUD board to consider this? like the anti-racism policy adoption and make it a top priority. FY23 budgeting is well underway. Establishing funding goals needs to be considered now to impact the FY22-23 budget. Both Lindy and Jamie spoke about initiatives to spread the word about all the great things going on in our school and attract more students. We discussed this at the retreat. If the board feels this is important, they should say so and see how we can help. Jamie mentioned his growing concern about the state of our building infrastructure to meet educational needs of students. I believe this was an emphasis you made at our retreat, worth discussing whether to make it a board priority. Finally, the board's support and interest in our new governance principles and operating protocols were heartening. They are guiding beliefs and a game plan to ensure that we as a board function effectively. One way to do this, as Justine said, is to make it an ongoing discussion topic. Packaging. We don't have time to do this at one time or in one package. We don't have to do this at one time or in one package. We can discuss and adopt these over time. The important thing is to get the board to focus. What are the essential actions, policies, and investments we need to do to support as a board achieve optimum student achievement and student wellness cost effectively? Goal setting helps us figure this out and sets actions, policy, investments accomplished uh, we're determining what our priorities are. Good. Um, Ethan? Yes. Could you share a link to that in the chat? I don't know what you were reading from. Ah. It's an email. I'll uh, forward it on. I don't know how to do links in chats and stuff, so I will... Um, you can just go to the top. Well, it's obviously not. If it's in an email, you can't link it, but... Yeah. Um, let me the web bar of anything. Let me find this bill again. 
Do, do, do. Uh, Bill, let me just say too. Um, so I have uh, recently been. Uh, my mother-in-law just died like two weeks oh. ago, and uh, so I've been sort of out of mind of oh, yeah. you know showing up at uh, board meetings and doing what's there. But in terms of being on top of things, and I just want to say you 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 do such a good job of this, and you're so engaged in what's going on and i apologize for not responding more often mm -hmm. but uh it's sometimes you just have to do the basics and uh um, i appreciate you keeping uh to detail i'm going to for forward this to the rsud board in general and it's uh bill's response does that feel okay bill to respond this to all the rsud board your yes, I'm, to that I'm comfortable with that, Ethan, if you are. Yeah, good. Thank you. It's it's basically a follow-up information. It's not any decision-making or asking for any decisions. See. Oh, here we go. There. That's better. Okay. Um, so, as I say, for me, uh, this is a really important meeting to sort of get back on to this and figure out where we are. I do think um, I came up with something that I liked uh, the other when we were talking budget at our last meeting a month ago, the idea of creative, um, I think it was creative, rigorous education yeah. working with what we have. Um, if you click on the link in the chat, you can yeah. have a list of all our notes from that meeting, our last meeting. And where is that? It's a little, um, at the bottom right of your screen, there's a little blue, like, chat icon next to the people. I know. I, I always see what I always do is uh, it's not going there. I'm, there was an error opening this file. There's an error opening this file. Sorry, I got kicked out. <laughs> No, <laughs> internet's kind of bad. Wow. Um, yeah, the internet. It keeps telling me there's an error opening this file. So, um, do you do it by um, uh, email? By chance? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Because uh, what I like to do is I look. I have everything I'm look, reading on my regular computer, and then this is my communications computer. There you go. Thank you. All right. Oh, there it is. All right, got you. Boy, this feels like a lifetime ago. It's, it's incredible. Where, um, what's next then? And that's a good question. I think we, you know, our, for our decisions that we made at the meeting were good. And uh, I reported them back to the board. And as you, we had a synopsis in that email, it indicated that the board was in support of what we were doing. Um, I kind of feel I'm sort of in this position where we either make these decisions or we find a better way to bring our, our ideas back to the board um, and call for more um, response because I felt like I was looking for like feedback and what to kind of like how to how to kind of um, morph these into solid goals that we are going to just present for action. Mm -hmm. um, it feels a little bit like we're just a small group deciding these big goals without a lot of input from the other board members. I, and yet I also, I'm, I'm, and then Bill, I gather from your email that you're thinking better to keep the discussion going on even a specific goal rather than feel like we have to present an entire slate uh, uh, soon. 
um, that this is an ongoing process and that maybe set our things out. So that's that's different than what Justine's Justine thinking. Well, I just didn't want to. Part of it is 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 timeliness. Um, some things are more pressing than others. Um, and the other thing is that I think any um, organized body, it's it's much easier to edit and to um, uh, so, a draft than to kind of create something whole completely. And so I don't think it's a bad idea for us to tr try to draft something up for the consideration of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we have subcommittees that, that, that and, and um, and I think we could, and it'd be nice if we could uh, show them something for the board's consideration uh, tonight. We've got uh, two um, agenda items that are meeting tonight that have to do with, I think, uh, what we've discussed is, is potential goals. One is uh, Anda is going to talk about uh, academic performance, mm -hmm. uh, the winter um, academic testing results of our two wonderful schools. Um, and one of the goals we had was to, to make sure that our proposed goals was to, to be on record of the importance of having strong, affirmative, positive academic results of the children that we love and we're responsible for their education for. So that's something that, um, that, that we could uh, share with the board tonight. Um, and uh, it's not, not necessarily that we're gonna vote on everything um, tonight, but th that's one thing. The second thing is the budget. And I think there's a hopes of uh, the administration that there's a consensus for the board to vote our uh, 2023 uh, school budgets. And um, so that's one responsibility. Um, so I drafted something about goals and everything. Um, one thing is to pass it to make sure that it, it meets what we think is academically and financially responsible um, um, document. And the other thing is to be committed to that we're going to have to go out and sell this thing. And Ethan, you talked about that at our last meeting. And you talked about letters to the editor. Um, because at least on the Stockbridge side, um, there's going to be, our, we're projecting an increase for those taxpayers paying by their property tax values. Um, by the way, did you see that email? Was it from the VSBA? I'm not sure, but it basically talked to that issue. And the idea that um, the what we're getting from the state is going to modify that because we're going to be getting more money somehow. I, you know, this is Byzantine as far as I'm concerned. Yes, uh, um, I saw some reference to that from a letter from the um, the state financial school education whatever it is tax um, director, and and she talked about there are going to be. Um, lowering the education base rate that's going to somehow help us. And I had a question in my email uh, to Jamie of whether or not mm -hmm. the budget that before us tonight um, reflects yeah, that, that or not. And that would make a big difference. If, if it doesn't, then the increase, projected increase for at least Stockbridge voters will be less than... Um, what we've seen to date, um, but that's timely to to mm -hmm. decide and then and, and and agree that we're going to go out and fight for for what we believe in. Um, Justine, you yes, I, I wanted to kind of rein that in a little bit because I feel like in our last meeting we decided we were going to start with a concept of a vision and mission statement. Yes, and then move on beyond that after we integrate what input we may get from the board on these visions and missions, and then synthesize that into a set of goals that were attainable moving forward. And that would be our ongoing process. Okay. So I feel like we might be getting ahead of ourselves and kind of focusing on what the task at hand is for the board anyway in our goals, which is kind of like a long, like a longer sighted project than just be like, oh, we're working on budget now. We should put that in the goals. And, you know, I, I'm not sure that's really where we were going with our last meeting 
and I'm not sure that's where I think we should be going with this committee necessarily, because generally we're going to worry about the budget anyway. And um, we'll talk about that tonight too. Yeah. Right. And I, I think that where we were was more of a philosophy situation mm -hmm. than uh, um, kind of like a, a linear goal setting plan. Well, there was something that I, now that I'm finally remembering what the last meeting, there was something about um, the idea of a definition of what a vision and what a mission uh -huh. and what a goal is. And I think getting back to that, just so we yeah, understand. And that's in the notes I just emailed. We talked about, we right. kind of outlined that a little bit. Um, the vision c communicates a passion. Our vision, we... Oh, yeah, rigorous creative education. Rigorous creative education. Yep. And under mission was integration of a curriculum and transparency. Uh, a culture of the concept of I don't know is okay. A comfortable space for uncomfortable learning. No. Mm -hmm. that, that, was under, that was under mission. Yeah, I'm looking at that. Um, I think that we, I brought that back to the board and they were like, good, that sounds good. And there wasn't a lot of feedback. Um, so I, you know, I feel like we should keep working from where we left off there instead of kind of jump ahead of ourselves into the, the goals. Well, here's the one thing also I, I, I believe, and that is that not everyone, not everyone is a mission and vision uh, person. You know what yeah. I mean? Like some people on the board are like, I want a nut and I want a bolt. Um, and that's all I really care about. Um, so not that we shouldn't do this, but that just re that's sort of responding to the board's response to us bringing this forward. Um, I think this is great stuff. Um, I think it's 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 what and, and, and really it's not about in some ways. We hope the whole board agrees with it. It's really what it's useful both for us and also for us to assess how our administration is doing. Mm -hmm. And like that we can look at. Lindy's plan for the year or her budget for the year, as Jamie says, is a policy statement. And we could say, okay, is this rigorous creative education? Um, yeah. And then is it, as their integration and is there transparency? Yeah. Is, I, is I don't know okay. So, that, so that, that's why it seems to me that's the test of each yeah. thing in here. And then comfortable space for uncomfortable learning. I like it because it's, it's, um, it's, uh, not only talks about um, the actual space and the attitude in the space, but I think that's actually a comfortable space is also part of building upkeep <laughs> eventually when you have a goal, you know, because you can't have a uncomfortable space if there's pipes bursting over your head, like in the high school. Yeah. So, so if we're here vision, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with this, that this is what we spend, you know, the next half hour on are these, is this enough for a vision and mission? Um, um, I mean, I would say the vision, yes, rigorous creative yeah. education is a, is a great one for a vision. Um, yep. of course, somebody would say, uh, rigorous creative education, uh, but there's nothing about budget in there, but I don't know if that's necessary. I'm just saying, I think it's great. Mission, I feel like we're not there yet. We've got like four things here, but how do we make it into a mission statement? Right. I think somebody looking at it isn't going to know, what do you mean integration? What do you mean transparency? Mm -hmm. Anybody want to take a stab at it? That mission statement? Uh, I don't know that I can use my brain enough on the spot right now to do that, but I'm interested in, in taking a stab at it, but maybe not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, right now. <laughs> well, maybe we can, maybe we can, you know, pull it apart a little bit. I mean, how do we define integration? Um, the, the last meeting, well, how we defined it was instead of going outside to reach, find something and add it to the budget. You use skills sets that we already have and overlap. I think overlap, integration was really about overlapping arts and music. Is that? Right, right. Integrating the, the arts and humanities into academic learning. Uh, yeah. 
I'm sorry. I mean, I'm very, no. I'm very tapped out mentally. <laughs> give, you, give your best just that you're here and just that you got us on track. It's really yeah. all you needed to do today. You got us <laughs> back from, I had no idea when I started this meeting, I have absolutely no idea where we were and what <laughs> we were even talking about. So I now do, and I credit you for that. Thank you. And Bill's lovely email. Um, so uh, uh, I'm, you know, that was your job today. That's all you need to do. <laughs> I, but I want to be part of it. I mean, I just don't. No, no. Know. Integration. Integration. Uh, I, I mean, I would say integration is um, yeah. is using what you have to deepen the educational experience. Um, something about like the resources that are available, you know, using available resources to existing, the potential. Yeah. What? Yeah, so existing resources. Yeah, existing resources to the extent of their creative potential or something. Oh, like I like that. <laughs> because there's lots of different, it's not just like, oh, an art teacher can teach art or whatever. It's like, even a math teacher can teach art. I remember, yeah. you know, just oh. one teaching tessellations. We were doing that. We made absolutely like so. I mean, it's not just oh, let's plug in the art teacher into our class. It's just a, it's kind of an opening, uh, a, a conceptually open opening your mind to integrating the the the. Anyway, sorry. Can I no no? Can I say that phrase again to see if I got it right? Using existing resources to the ex to develop the extent of creative potential is that right? Um, to a develop in there that wasn't there. I don't think I said develop to the to the extent of their creative potential. There. Well, of course, who's there then? The the creative potential, the teachers, the the staff. The, the topic, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not just that it's not just people either. It's like math. Yeah. Like, can we use math? Like where can, how can we, far can we reach with, with each? I, I mean, I, I buy this totally. <laughs> Bill, you got two cents? Yeah, it's, um, you're really on to something and every word counts because um, these things need to be shorter than super longer. I remember spending right. this just months on a mission statement that finally was like 50 words or less. So oh yeah, um, don't be um, embarrassed or, or uh, concerned that it doesn't automatically comes to your mind and you've come up with the uh, mission statement or, or, or vision and it, it takes work. And oh, yeah. we already, I know, um, I think Stockbridge and Rochester have either a mission or a vision or both. And that's another uh, place to check and see whether uh, some of those ideas that are the existing mission uh, should be incorporated in a new revised um, um, vision or mm -hmm. a mission statement uh, for our uh, a district. So. Um, yeah, it's, and it, to me, it's going to be something that, um, will take some iterations. I mean, it won't be, you know, yes and no, boom, people will edit, people will think about something else, we'll expand it, we'll, whatever the case is. Just the process of doing that is powerful because we're talking about the most important thing we've got is yep. why are we here? Um, so I don't think the goal needs to be tonight uh, to to necessarily uh, on, we can I I think we're moving in both directions on vision and mission and we can share that with the board tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and Justine, I did, didn't mean to offend you on on my interest in goals, but I was under my definition of goals is they reflect that mission. Um, and vision, but we can establish goals even though we haven't, because goals are uh, measurable and meaningful and attainable, uh, but they're necessary to, 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 to move forward sometimes and grab the opportunities that are in front of us. And we can do some of that without interfering with the bigger 
global picture of the vision uh, statement and a, and a mission statement. They don't have to wait. That's what I'm saying. And um, if you decide that it's better to not do goals until we have that, I'm comfortable with with that as well. I'm just comfortable also with saying we've got some things, important things going on. And um, one of them, um, your idea about school parent connections, strengthening mm -hmm. school parent connections, yeah. that can be a goal, uh, regardless of what our vision is uh, and our mission. Um, and uh, I think uh, Robert was talking about that at one of our board meetings is that the PTO are just it isn't alive in Rochester. We wish we had one that was more like Stockbridge, but getting us to focus and helping the administration focus on how do we strengthen that relationship, we can start doing that now um, uh, for yeah. the rest of the spring going forward. I think, Justine, your idea on that is, is really powerful. Um, and it's something that if we focus on, I think we can make some positive steps on, on that. And Justine, another goal that I think is worthwhile is that when we passed the governance and the board protocols, I remember you said, these are important, but we need to continue to focus on these in the months going ahead. You remember when you said that? Yep, absolutely. And, and, and so a goal just says, recognize that we're going to spend some time doing that. And that would be right. uh, probably Maybe. having that on the agenda uh, moved up. So, Maybe so, our vision statement is one of the goals. <laughs> yes, um, is, is to establish one so yeah. that we're not under the gun. I don't think a vision yeah. statement, they're so important that you just can't do it, um, beat the clock. Um, right. So I think the takeaway from our last meeting, if we're thinking about it through this lens, is that we were creating yeah. a vision and a mission statement. We were interested in uh, integrating integration, you know, uh, tapping into the creative potential of the available resources that we already have to um, kind of extend our ability to offer also, arts and humanities. Because that then, also is a budget. Oh, we did talk about the communication between parents, uh, kind of strengthening that communication with the community and parents. Um, th those were three things that we talked about a lot. And the, and the you know, the, the financial piece has been coming up ever since our retreat. So that's obviously a heavy hitter. Um, yeah. Well, that this might be our first set of goals. I mean, this is why I, I like this as a vision statement because using existing resources to the extent of their creative potential is a budget statement. You know, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's yeah. absolutely yeah. a budget yeah. statement. Yeah. It's saying we, you know, it's going to be, you've got to prove to us that you really need this extra budget item because I need to see that you haven't, you know, dredged up everything you've got from what you have. Um, so, mm -hmm. it, you know, I think that's why these are, I, I mean, I, I hear you that, you know, we have specific goals that we need now and, and we probably could talk about them, but the best vision statement is going to define the goal. Yeah. Yeah. All it, of the goals. It's going, it's going to say, this is how we look at, buildings, educational procedure and goals, um, administration, because yeah. we have the right vision. That's yeah. what we talked about last time. Yeah. Now and is I, why we were throwing all of these things around that were sort of vague, but, you know, also specific. I, 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 I really support it myself. I think, um, uh, so, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I, I that's why I, 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 I feel like I know what the mission statement is. I've seen it and it's pretty boilerplate education, school mm -hmm. education stuff. Uh -huh. so yeah. We will educate every child to the best of their ability. And, you know, we will do that. And it's like, no, this is different. This is this is this is different. What we're coming up with here. Um, um, and that's why I'd like to stay this part now. When we say, so I, if I may, if, let's just go through these four things that are in our vision statement right now. We have integration, transparency, I don't know is okay, and comfortable space for uncomfortable learning. What do we mean by transparency? Uh, uh, what I think is meant by transparency 
involves uh, an open line of communication with parents and community as to what their what the money is going toward, what the children are learning and experiencing, and kind of an open it, open on both ends where it's com it, it's a comfortable space for uncomfortable learning for them as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna push you to be broader in this um in the sense that that's a that's a specific goal that could come right. out oh, yeah okay um, why do we want tra transparency across the board means everybody sees what everybody's doing maybe that's it <laughs> right right everybody's every or everybody's on everybody sees and everybody's on board with what everybody's doing that maybe there's an effort to to open up the doors of you know like there's a, 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 a clear effort made to uh, to work toward a higher level of transparency or something, you know, like, because you could be, yeah, yeah, transparent or whatever, but if we're all kind of thinking, what is, how are we showing this to the outside? Are we, is there a way we could better show this to everyone? Is there a way this can be more open? More well, I'm just if 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 we have as part of our vision, I mean, listen to this, just put these two together just so this is because this is sort of how a vision. So our vision statement is using existing resources to the extent of their creative potential and everyone sees what everyone is up to and, and buys into what everyone is up to. Up to, up, to is a, up to is a terrible phrase, but that's what I got right now. Um, the um or buys into or sees and buys into it's, ethan this is where it gets difficult um to be a a member of a board um we're representing a community we're also representing the parents and the, the kids and and we've got to be careful that if our goal is a hundred percent consensus oh, yeah. on everything buy in um so yeah. we just um yep yep no i hear you I transparency hear you. I, to me means people have a confidence they uh -huh. may not see anything or hear everything um, um they don't necessarily have to do their homework but there's a confidence level and one of the ways to have a confidence is that they don't have a sense that the organization is hiding things which and avoiding things. I mean, this um, is exactly what we were dealing with. So now the end result has to be, though, quality education. And the kids are learning. And they're learning mm -hmm. as well and it, it hopefully better than the competition. So we can be transparent, but underline that what you hope people believe in, not only is that we're not doing smoke and mirrors, but the outcome is in the interest of, of everybody. And... Uh, I, well, I think your word of confidence. Um, Can you, people, Ethan, could I stop you for a moment and ask you to repeat what you said right before Bill started talking? Um, every, you know, every, everyone, sees, everyone sees what everyone's up to? Uh, nope. It was just before you started talking and you were, you were talking back about the creative potential. Our vision is rigorous education. Oh, yeah. It's uh, using existing resources to the extent of their creative potential and everyone sees what everyone is up to. Okay, thank you. Um, and But I, I really like where Bill's going, the idea, because we're experiencing this right now. We went through a period of, of the beginning of my tenure where there was no confidence mm -hmm. in the board because they felt we were doing all kinds of things behind their back which we weren't, um, but they did, they had no confidence in us. That was what was clear. And so I think that word is so, so everyone's seeing what everyone is up to is, uh, and, and the buy into is, is probably not because there's a level of confidence and trust. You know, it's that you have confidence in and you trust. And are those the same thing? I don't think they quite are. It's like you, why nobody's coming to our meetings right now. It's because that we're trust we're doing the right thing. Right. I really believe that's the case. That people are like that. they don't, they don't want to think about us. 
they don't want to think about the board. They don't want to think about the board. They might want to think about their kid going to school and whether they need a COVID test or not. But they don't want to think about the work because they trust that we're doing the work. And so transparency is about maintaining that confidence. You know, maintaining the confidence of, I mean, I want to say your clients, but that's a business term. Um, but it's, it's maintaining the confidence of all parties mm -hmm. that we are going about this business in a maintaining, I'm just going to get that much down, maintaining, sure. maintaining the confidence. I put a little drafty thing in the chat for maintaining the confidence. Of all parties. I mean, there is something to be said of all parties involved. Yeah. Because it works. That's that's a two-way street. You know, it's a two-way street. It's that we got confidence. Everybody's confident that the other party's there. Um, what did you... I didn't see. I'll have to go and see if I can get it this time. Didn't, oh, here we go. Rigorous... Comfortable space, using existing resources to the extent of their creative potential. Platform rooted in transparency by maintaining the confidence and trust of the community. Platform. Rooted. I don't know if I like the word maintaining, but um, I think we can, you know, work under the rigorous creative education and then have our description of what that means. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, because number two is really, it's budget, it's, it's pedagogy. It's, yeah, it's absolutely pedagogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's, it's also in include, encouraging them to, how can we teach more creatively right. using what we have? Oh, we got somebody who's got specialty in horses. Well, you know. Interesting. Transparency is that trust thing, but it's also uh, a community connection with the parents that you were, you know, we were talking about the last time. It's not just, you know, sharing Wait. curriculum. It's also sharing what, you know, what our decisions are based upon. You know, it's much broader than just putting a poster outside the door of the classroom. When you say platform, what do you mean by platform? That's the only part of your sentence. That Providing I'm a platform. So, you know, our school board is rooted in transparency. Uh, the, the, I guess I'm thinking about a communication platform where teachers are communicating with parents. School board is, you know, Jamie really does provide this type of platform. He provides mm -hmm. a platform where he communicates regularly, uh, both through video and through letter letters to the greater community through home to parents and on the internet so that i mean that's an example of, of a platform and then but also par teachers may create their own version of a platform that provides transparency from their work to the community the school board going beyond well let me let me try this um in that um one that we had the word create but maybe that's true. That's goal related. Um, I said provide. What about, platform, what about providing? Yeah. Provide a proper. What about this idea of instead of trust of community, it's trust, confidence, and trust of all parties. Because th that's for mine, and it's just the idea that it's a two-way street. Yeah. That, and that it's between the board and the administration. It's between the board and. Um, you know? The community, it's between the administration and the community, it's between maybe the teachers. We listen, and the maybe we say the, the administration, the faculty, and the community. Well, again, if we're trying to keep this pithy and short, like right. you're suggesting. But I think all parties is a little bit, maybe a little too vague. And also, well, I don't know. It just sounds kind of legal. <laughs> <laughs> and you know those lawyers, man. They're always trying to get around things. Um, I guess it's that I, I, I feel like, that, and, and that's, you know, I can go either way. And I, I think it should be broader than just community. Um, it's For me, it's a plat, it's defining a platform. So if somebody reads this and says, 
And maybe it's, if you say providing a platform, but it's something platform, it's a, uh, communication a, platform, a communication or administrative platform. Well, because well, it's bigger than just communication. This is also, this also has to do with a personal one to one relationship. Right. Communicative. Communicative. Ooh. Uh, um, I need a new pad. Hold on a sec. So right now we're at a platform rooted in transparency. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, mean, I think it is about, you know, it's about communication, communicating. It's about. Yeah, I can't think of, think of what I, another way to say it. OK, I mean, I think, you know, we don't we don't have to solve this today. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, a platform communicative. platform rooted in transparency to maintain the confidence of all and the possibilities there are of all parties party of the first part of the of the community <laughs> of the community and administration staff and students yeah. staff and students I think that covers everybody I like listing it just because it, it, yeah, I think the community, like to you, I think the community means the people not in the school and to mm -hmm. me, the community means everybody, the school, yes. the kids, the teachers, the, the administration and the parents and the taxpayers. Yeah, you could do that with a nice little colon, the community, colon, administration, yeah, yeah. students, right. towns, people. All right. <laughs> well, I think, um, by the way, how long are we going today? I, I should go anytime I can. I, I, this is a push. I was pushing my luck even doing this. No, no. Um, uh, let's. Um, I mean, I think we've moved forward. Um, uh, Bill, is there something more in the next, let's say, five minutes that you think we should bring to the board tonight about specific goals? Because I think we've moved forward on our vision statement. Yeah, and it kind of it incorporates what our possible goals were listed last time, communicating the curriculum to the parents. Mm -hmm. And that, that was basically the only real goal we brought up the last time. So maybe we move forward with, you know, something else because the – Could you – could, could you, before we get off or, or after we get off, could you type up what you wrote there on the – I'll just chat. copy it right now. And just – yeah, just put it in a, an email to us so that we can have. Yep. Um, yep. Do you, and Bill, you haven't said anything in a little while. How are you feeling about what we did today? Well, um, I don't want to go against uh, uh, Justine. I got a, a, a strong go sense that, that goals need to wait, and I don't want to violate her feelings on that. And uh, – no, I agree with you. I, I came back against that where I where I understood what you meant with the ongoing and I, I, you're not going against me. It's fine. Um, that said, I think um, the two possible goals that we could because um, we've discussed them. I think there's um, board support for them. Both ideas came coming from Justine. One was strengthening school parent communication um, and uh, to see. I know Lindy and 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 uh, is doing things and the fact and everything else. Can we help on that? Uh, because it's very important if we can get active parents support, um, whether it's the, the school budget coming up vote or anything else. But that school parent 
communication. I think that's an important goal if we can strengthen that. And then the other one is board governance. Keep a focus on how we're, how we're doing and are there things that we can do better as a board. Um, and I think that's, a, that's, that's well worth having on our agenda and, and considering. Those two. And those are two. So, um, and. Uh, so, uh, so that tonight, if when it comes up, we should present sort of a latest version of what we have for a vision statement. Oh, well, our, our vision statement, our mission statement, where mm -hmm. we are there, and then say, would we like to talk about these two goals tonight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's um, I think that's a good hours to work in here. Um, probably what we should do is the old task of not putting it off too long to meet again, and that we schedule the next meeting. Um, what's when are you done, Justine? How uh, far I, March. So first week of March. So if we, how about we uh, meet again uh, before the next meeting? The next board meeting. Yeah, that's the fine. Fourth. So the fourth at noon. Is that March fourth? Yeah, March fourth. Was oh, that? Is that good? For... Right now it is. <laughs> it's early on. Early on. So well, I think that'll help us because you know um, I, I'm always better if I if I if it's on my calendar. Sure. sure. March fourth is a Friday. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wait, then when, what's the day of our? It would be the 8th, right? Or no, the 1st. Tuesday. Yeah, the first. It's March is the 1st of March is a Tuesday. Correct. So we have a, um, so we would have the meeting that night, but you will, will you be done by then? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be done. I'm done that week before that. Okay. I'm taking how about then the how about we March 1st? Yep. At noon. Yeah, let's do that. March 1st at noon. And I feel like we can pat ourselves on the back and come forward and bring to the board that we have two specific goals that are priorities for us to come to terms with tonight um, so that we have them for what we're doing right now with budget and, mm -hmm. uh, go and goals. Mm -hmm. Um Sorry, I guess that's oh one question then, um, Bill. I thought when you brought up two goals before parent-teacher communication, I thought it was the academic goals, not the board governance. Um, well, I had, I think I had originally six, so I was, um, uh, uh, but I do think um, yep. the academics, if if to have the board aware that we've got. Uh, an SUI academic achievement goals and to be able to focus on that. We're going to be doing that tonight with Ada. Uh, but I, I would, if it's not tonight at some point, I'd love to have our board say, yeah, th those are our goals too, as well as SU. And uh, I'll leave it to you, um, Ethan, and uh, how you want to do that. But nothing's more important in my mind is making sure that kids are learning better succeeding better uh, so they can reach their fullest potential. And uh, if to me, that's, that'd be nice if our board would back the yeah. SU board uh, yep. on that pursuit. Well, and also make sure we understand them. Um, you got my email, Ethan, and you got oh. Jamie's response and his response, because I had all these questions and he said, uh, Bill, you're basically, uh, you know, uh, kindly stated, somewhat confused on some of this stuff. And I was, because it is confusing. It's very confusing to me. And um, if we're going to be effective, we have to understand. Yep. Um, and I was just showing my hand. I'm in the back of the classroom, kind of. Uh, uh, no, I, I totally support Well, learner. I think it's very easy to, um, you know, especially when things seem like they're going smoothly with the board to feel like it's sort of rubber stamp time. And I, it is very important that we actually understand what we're doing. Yeah. As a, a lawyer would agree with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a good idea. <laughs> good. All right. I think that's. I think we've done enough tonight. There. There today. Uh, there seems to be no public on here unless Ray, you have a comment about how brilliant we are. <laughs> I know. It, it was a great meeting. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, it is fun to talk about this high level stuff. I'd much prefer it to minutia numbers. I got to tell you. Same here. Yeah. More my, more my bailiwick, as they say. Yeah. Um, very good. We will see you tonight then. Thank you all. Yep. See you. Thank you.